Welcome to another video. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the Rowan Dumbler pedal. Um, it is supposed to sound like a Dumble amplifier, if you're not sure what those are. Um, it's an amp company that uh, I believe is one guy and he makes all the amps by hand, so he only makes one or two a year. And they're very sought after. Um, I've never heard one in person, so I'm not really doing a comparison of does this sound like a Dumble amplifier. I'm just going to uh, plug it in, see what kind of sounds we can get, and just see if it's a good overdrive pedal. Because uh, I've heard that it is uh, just kind of a low gain overdrive type of a thing. And uh, let's just plug it in and see what kind of sounds we can get. Okay, before we get going, um, what does this pedal uh, have here? It's pretty simple. It uh, is a gain knob, um, a volume knob, how much you know effect you want compared to your dry sound. And then a voice knob and a tone knob. And from what I've been able to tell and do a little research, the uh, voice knob is kind of like controlling your mids, how much mids you want, and then the uh, tone knob is more like your highs. And so you can dial in, you know, quite a variation of uh, what you're going for, I guess. Um, how much gain you have, and then voice it kind of with those. It's almost like a little EQ. So it's a very versatile pedal. Um, like I say, let's uh, see what we can get out of it. Okay, I have a clean tone set up on the computer. This is uh, what that sounds like. Now I've got the uh, dumbler. I've got all the knobs set at uh, 12 o'clock, and we'll uh, see what that gives us. That's nice, I like that. Really good, uh, just basic, dirty, usable rock tone. I like that very much. Okay, now I've got the uh, gain control at about 3 o'clock. I uh, left the voice right at 12 o'clock, and I turned the tone all the way up. And I think it gives me kind of a cool, bluesy, uh, kind of a ZZ Top type of tone. Type of a tone. Um, and let's see what we can do with that. just so cool just get that groove and boogie going and just has just a really good blues rock I don't know grit to it okay uh, I left everything where it was except the gain I turned that one up a little bit I'm at about uh, 11 o'clock and um, I think it just gives me kind of a cool uh, I don't know dirty 70s type tone maybe I don't know I just think it's uh it goes pretty cool with the chords I don't know Okay, now I've got everything turned all the way up, and uh, I was surprised how much gain I was able to get out of it. Um, you could almost do like some old metal songs or something with it. Uh, I don't know, you tell me what you think. <laughs> Yeah. 
Just very surprised how uh, dirty I was able to get that thing. All right, one other cool thing I found out about this pedal is that uh, depending on what guitar you're putting into it, it can change the sound of the pedal itself. I mean, it responds really well to uh, differences. Um, and uh, I'll uh, give you an example. Um, I have got my uh, Esquire GT, which is mahogany, body and neck. And then I've got uh, my Mexican Tele. That is, I think these were made of alder. And it's got a maple neck. And uh, they both have the same pickup in them. They both have a uh, DiMarzio Super Distortion in them. And I'm just going to go back and forth, play this guitar, that guitar, and uh, not change the settings on the pedal at all. And uh, just give you an example of how it uh, changes the sound just by what's fed into it. There you go, my uh, demo of the Rowan Dumbler. Um, I uh, like it. I think it's a really good sounding pedal. Um, I like the uh, variations you can get with the voice and tone knobs. Um, kind of dial it into your own preferences. Um, inexpensive, well made. Um, I really like the Rowan stuff. Um, for the money, I mean, they are a really good pedal. Um, so yeah. Looks sounds like something you would want. Go and grab one of these, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, as always, thank you for watching this, and uh, make sure you subscribe. I will uh, see you next time.